Thank you. It is time now to check our Sunrise Smart Start on this Monday. Firefighters crediting a working smoke detector for helping three people and two dogs escape a house fire in Rochester. It broke out around 845 last night at the house on Colvin Street. Firefighters found flames coming from an upstairs window. No word yet on a cause, but firefighters believe it was electrical in nature. Meanwhile, firefighters in Oneida County investigating after a barn fire killed more than 200 cows. It happened around 11 o'clock yesterday morning. By the time the fire was spotted and firefighters were able to get there, the flames had grown out of control, as you see. All 250 cattle locked inside that barn were killed. Monroe County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a hit and run which killed a horse in Menden. It happened on Menden Center Road around 5.30 Friday evening. Deputies say they're now looking for a 2010 to 2013 silver or gray Toyota Corolla with significant front end damage. Testimony will pick back up today in the trial of the man who's accused of killing his 101-year-old neighbor. Last July, police say 54-year-old Gregory Jesmer stabbed Marsha Morrison to death inside her apartment on Green Knolls Drive in Rochester. His jury trial began last week and will continue this morning at 9 o'clock. Josh? A little light wintry mix of snow and freezing drizzle will develop this afternoon. This morning, it's just cold and dry. As you head out uh, side, you need to uh, be mindful of the temperature. It is in the uh, upper teens and low 20s, but it feels like it's in the uh, low teens at times when you factor in just a little bit of a wind chill. Winter weather advisories go up this afternoon. They last through the night tonight. As we watch some of that uh, light snow develop, it's already snowing and sleeting a little bit in parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania, and uh, that has its uh, sights uh, set on uh, Rochester for later on this afternoon. Temperatures will continue their climb through the 30s, even into the 40s. Could be near 50 by tomorrow. Lots of changes. Certainly the feel of January out there right now, though. That's right. All right, Josh, thank you. That's it for us for now. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning begins right now. Have a great day.